Okay, so we had this big sort of fancy definition that implied that when I swapped in a, a, a worse element for one element of a lottery, and that thing that I swapped in could itself be, was itself in fact a lottery, it was this, it was this lottery here, then basically I made the lottery worse. Now, of course, I express this with respect to weak preferences, but I believe that we can show that the results we have implied by about weak preferences can extend to the strong preferences also. Okay, but why was this called independence? Why do we call this independence? I think that's easier to see if we think in the opposite direction. So here we see that, look, ZK as a certainty is preferred to this lottery here, beta probability of out A and one minus beta probability of B. Okay, so I go from here, this being weakly preferred to this, it could also say strictly preferred, that would also apply, but we're tending to define things in terms of weakly preferred. Okay, so this is preferred to this, implies that this is preferred to this, okay? Note that the only difference is that, so this element, this, this first lottery is the same, as we said, as the second lottery, except for this element. Another way of thinking about it is that, what have I done to ZK? In move, going from ZK to this first lottery, what have I done? Well, I've shrunken down the pop probability of ZK occurring, so I've multiplied it probabilistically, and I've added all these other things that can hap that happen in the other states of the world. Okay, and what have I done to the thing on the right? What have I done to this lottery? Well, I've shrunken down its probability by alpha K. Rather than having this lottery, I have alpha K probability of this lottery. And I've added all these things that happen in the other states of the world. But so in each case, I've multiplied this multiplied it by a probability and added a bunch of stuff that happens in all the other states of the world. And that's the same stuff in both cases, right? We've multiplied both of these by alpha K. ZK goes to alpha K ZK. This beta thing goes to being alpha K times this beta thing. And we've added, uh, you know, now that we have to decide what's gonna happen all the remaining times, we added that, well, this stuff happens and this other stuff happens, and it's the same stuff in both cases, okay? So whatever relationship we have between this and this, independence implies that we basically have that same preference relationship when you say, okay, instead of, you know, you preferring uh, Mexican food to Italian food, you say, okay, do you prefer Mexican food to Italian food if actually uh, it's really only a 10% chance of Mexican food versus a 10% chance of Italian food. And then the remaining 90% of the time, all this other stuff happens, but it's the same whether you choose Mexican or Italian food. Okay, and that should be the same answer. To give extreme example, if I say, okay, I prefer Mexican food to Italian food next Friday, if I know that's gonna happen for certain, and then you say, oh, by the way, there's a 90% chance that the world will end next Friday. There's gonna be a comet or an asteroid that hits the world and destroys it. <sighs> then, and then I say, but you know, if it doesn't, in the 10% chance that it doesn't, do you prefer Mexican or Italian? Your answer has to be the same. That's the independence, okay? And that's what we saw violated in those LA's paradox choices.